Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. X plus Y equals 10. This is our equation 1. Then we have X squared minus Y squared equals 12. This is our equation 2. Okay, so what I will do now is to make, you know, to develop our equation 3. From equation 1, x is equal to 10 minus y. So this is now our equation 3. We are going to need this equation 3 when we get the value of y. But at the moment, we are going to put this equation 3 into equation 2. Okay, so in place of x squared, I'm going to write this 10 minus y to the power of 2. Then minus this y squared will still appear. And everything is equal to 12 on the other side. Okay, let's look at the expansion of this. If you have a minus some b to the power of 2. This will give you a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, so this is what you're going to have. And um, because of that, a squared now is going to be 10 squared. That is 100 minus, we have 2 times a times b. That will be 2 times 10 times y. That will be 20y right then plus we have b squared which will be y squared so we write it here then look at minus y over there the one outside the bracket i mean minus y squared then everything is equal to 12. okay so to go ahead from here we're going to have 10 okay that's 100 minus 20y y squared minus y squared is gone, so we equate this to 12. Let's collect like them. So we have um, minus 20y equals 12 minus 100. So minus 20y will be equal to 12 minus 100 is um, minus 88. Okay, so we divide both sides by minus 20, so our, okay, let me write it again, minus 20 divided by minus 20, and that will be minus 88 divided by minus 20. This will take this away, so we have y to be equal to negative or cancel negative, then this 4 is a common factor, 4 into 88 is 22, and then 4 into 20 is um, 5. So this right here is the value of y. But I told you that we had equation 3, and that is x equals, um, we have 10 minus y. So I'm going to put y here now, so we get x to be equal to, we have 10 minus 22 over 5. Now we find the LCM from here, so our x will be, this is over 1, okay, so it's going to be 5 divided by 5, write your LCM first, 5, this 5 divided by 1 is 5 times 10. 10 is 50, then minus 5 divided by 5 is 5, is 1, 1 times 22 is 22, so we have our x to be 50 minus 22, that will give 28 over 5, right? Therefore, we have our x to be 28 over 5, and uh, our y to be 22 
over 5. And like we always do, we verify our solution. So let's verify. Okay, so this is our equation. And our x is still 28 over 5. And y is 22 over 5. Now let's put these two into equation 1. So we're going to have 28 over 5 plus 22 over 5. Will this give us 10 on the other side? That's what we are looking at. The LCM of this is 5. Then 28 plus 22. Okay, this is going to give us some um, 50 over 5. And 50 divided by 5 is 10. And if you look well, we had the same 10 on the other side of the equation. So this means that our value of x and y satisfy equation, equation 1. So let's try equation 2. Our equation 2 is x squared minus y squared equals 12. Sorry, I wrote out of sight. This is our equation 2. And our x is still 28 over 5. This is square on this. Then minus y, that would be 22 over 5 squared. Let's see if we simplify this. Um, let's see if we're going to have 12 if we simplify this. Now, we can even use difference of two squares. So that would be 28 over 5 plus 22 over 5 in the first bracket. Then in the second bracket, we have um, 28 over 5 minus 22 over 5. Okay, so we are using difference of two squares. The LCM here is um, 5. Then 28 plus 22 is 50. Okay, then this will multiply. Here, the LCM is still 5. Then 28 minus um, 22, that will be 6. Okay, so let's multiply this. By the way, um this will give us 10 multiplied by 6 over 5 then because 50 divided by 5 is 10 now 5 will go here two times and then we'll have 2 times 6 which is um 12 and it is the same 12 we had okay on the other side of the equation look at it there so we have verified that our x is truly 28 over 5 and uh, and our y is equal to 22 over 5 thank you for watching and um, remember to subscribe to my channel before going away thank you